Go for the whole chrysalis sort of thing. We're all emerging from where we are at the moment, uh, the bright sunny fields beyond. Oh, it's an emergency! Like that kind of an emergency. Yeah, that's dramatic, isn't it? But emergent, it, it comes from the word emergence, which means emerge, to unmerge something, to come out as a separate thing. For me, it made me think of the different levels of emergence that we're in at the moment. Obviously, the the sort of it, uh, the the collective imposed chrysalis that we're all in, that we have no choice in, and therefore, hopefully we will emerge from, there will be an emergence from, and how that will be different for everybody. I think a positive future is emerging. I think um, hopefully a plastic-free future is emerging. I think um, young people are coming together and emerging as a positive collective to um, sort of sort out the crisis that we're in, uh, which is exciting. It's nice, you know, everything else is switched off. No internet, no, the lights are off. You know, maybe one little light on, but um, it's kind of like a little safe space to go and be in, even if you sit, you know, sometimes we'll be reading for an hour or something. My kids are emerging from being at home, they're growing up, um, my daughter's emerging away from the <laughs> nest, uh, applying to university, the year is changing. So for me, personally, um, emergence is about um, emerging from a 20-year marriage and emerging into the person that isn't in a 20-year marriage and isn't in a relationship or, to, or half of, of a whole. Um, so I'm emerging out of one lifetime into another lifetime. It just released something in my voice. It was like in, in that singing suddenly there was this expansion and this like strength and power that was in my voice that I it was like such a surprise <laughs> the emergence into adulthood is very present in my life living with two people who are turning from big boys into young men and to watch them emerge into young men is so charming and exciting and obviously you know in this moment as well the emergence of spring which is so comforting in that sort of relentlessness you know even though we live in this absolutely freaky crazy moment in, in life in the world it doesn't make any difference to spring it's going to come anyway. When we first started we were a bit kind of gung-ho. Just 
um, uh, out of a sense of overwhelm. But now I think we can. Interesting, the project we're talking about. We're actually starting to see the woods for the trees somehow. It's like that. There's something like that. We can actually see the, pot the, the potential is being realised. As you've said, like the clarifying of what's important to me, and maybe choosing more consciously what my emergence would look like. The flowers are emerging from the ground mm -hmm. as we speak. The day is beautiful. We've just emerged from our house to uh, take Helena for a COVID test. <laughs> so, uh, and I've got one tomorrow. So I'm emerging from that as well. I had tears in my eyes because yeah. I just felt that's this moment of freedom. Yeah, this freedom. An awful lot of hard work, um, an awful lot of dirt to go away, um, and then uh, we're now starting to come out of the ground so that um, we'll see some reality to our toils. Elysium is a, a, a Roman Valhalla. It's a good place we go if we all died in battle and would be nice. Or otherwise, um, everybody else gets to go to a really muddy place. So, so Elysium for me. The main thing now is Mothering Sunday. Now try and get some of the children from school involved. So that should be rather nice. Get a, a variety of, of voices and ages. Out of COVID, COVID smoothie will make a, a sort of deadly, horrifying, monstrous sort of evil butterfly that will butterfly, a blood crush butterfly a plane bombs. with its own antenna. The joke <laughs> I came up with actually last night, I asked mum, why can't butterflies drive cars? And she said, I don't know why, and I just responded with, because they only live for two weeks. For me, emergence would probably mean like, like going outside, emerging from a house, or emerging from a room or something. Definitely liquefying my brain. <laughs> it's, it's just liquefying. Yeah, it, it's really... <laughs> it's a liquefying it's really experience. Boring. I was looking at the urgency and I realised partly it's come from working with my friend Nick, who's my peer, who's been very poorly. And then another friend who's quite a bit younger than me suddenly ending up with a piece of medical amazingness in his head just because he fell over. And I, so I suppose that the sense of mortality has come a bit closer. In this kind of weirdness of everything being a bit on hold with this whole um, COVID thing, what can I do to satisfy my own sense of urgency? I guess that's it. So I think there is a hope, slowly everything come back to normal. Uh, that's my opinion and I think we feel this in the air because it's spring, everyone feels better and we need this, we need this hope, that's it. <laughs>